Hi folks, this is Reverend Bradford Hole, and we are, I believe, our last installment of the video introduction. I'm the author of By Grace Through Faith, volume number two, and we're on a video introduction to chapter 21, Biblical Study. That's kind of the foundation of everything we talk about in biblical discipleship, making God's word a priority in our lives. So a young boy returned home from Sunday school and was quizzed by his mother as a lesson taught by the teacher. The boy replied it was about two preachers who saw a man in a ditch, didn't stop because he already had been robbed. Perhaps we better get our facts straight. In this last introduction, we're going to give you some tools to properly study God's Word. So the, the concept is called Biblical Hermeneutics or how to study the Bible in a way that is honoring God and really getting the most out of it. So always it's a good idea to start with prayer. Uh, I would highly recommend a good modern study Bible, uh, NIV, uh, New Living uh, uh, Bible, New Living Translation is good. Um, but there are a lot of good ones out there. It's always a good idea to do um, uh, your, your use a Bible dictionary and do your historical and cultural background, understand the context, verbal analysis. Uh, that's why we do word studies in the Greek and the Hebrew and things like that. Also, knowing what type of literary style you're dealing with. In 2 Timothy 3.16, it says, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the man of God, the servant of God, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. 2 Peter uh, 1, 3-4, it says, His dying power has given everything we need for, for life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Through these, He has given us very great and precious promises, so that through them you may grow in your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, let's take a look at the uh, Greek word study. A friend of mine, Rick Renner, who's a Greek scholar, is helping us out here, letting us use his his resources here um, and we're going to look at the word profitable in 2 Timothy 3 16. all scripture is given by inspiration of God as we talked before in an other episode that literally means the the the, uh, the breath of God God uh, it's it's uh, pneuma theo uh, God breathed and uh goes on to say that uh, when Rick Renner was a, was a small boy, every summer he attended a Bible school that was conducted at our church. I loved it so much. It was one of the highlights of my summertime. What a wonderful memory I have. Those times in my childhood, I am so thankful that my parents loved me enough to make sure I took advantage of every opportunity to learn the Bible. That vacation Bible school was a magnificent tool to help place God's word in my life. Uh, many times I would uh, uh, do a Bible pledge every year at the beginning of the Bible school. Uh, God's word, I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Since that time, I admit that I regularly renew my commitment to make God's word the center of my life. Although I am a pastor, Christian educator, author of many Christian books, and a visible Christian lady, I must conquer the same struggles that others face, including the temptation to get so busy that I unintentionally neglect the reading of God's Word. Time and again, I've spoken to my flesh and commanded to get back in line. I've deliberately renewed my commitment to God's Word to make it be the centerpiece of my life. I even find myself repeating that simple pledge I made at Vacation Bible School. That pledge was made... The word righteousness, oh, here. In that word, such an impact on my soul as a child that still I repeat it once again to commit myself to the daily reading of the Bible. The, the words of that pledge remain deep inside of me. Have you made a commitment to read God's word on a regular basis? Is this an area which you've been on again, off again? I'd like you to become consistent and regular in reading God's Word. 
If you'll allow the Holy Spirit to help you, you can win this victory in your life. And even if you unintentionally skip the reading of the Bible, the truth is there's nothing more powerful than the Word of God has to answer every question you will ever ask. And it contains the power to meet every need in your life. Conversely, when you neglect God's Word and fail to include it in your life, that neglect will finally affect every part of your life. The regular absence of God's Word from your life will jeopardize your faith, steal your joy, produce intolerance of others, and create attitudes that disgust not only you, God, and others as well. Well, that's it for now, but we're going to come back with a part two in a little bit.